<sighs> so, um, I haven't posted a video in quite some time. Um, let's see. I don't even remember the last, I think the last time I posted I was here, um, in Springfield. So I'm at my apartment right now, um, in my room. Um, I went back out on the road. I teamed for a bit. Uh, that's officially done. Um, <clears throat> while I was teaming, um, my mom passed away, um, which many of you know that that was coming. Uh, so she passed away. Um, I rushed back to Oneana. I arranged her, um, her funeral. Not, it's not, it wasn't a funeral. I called it a celebration of life because I didn't want it. To, I knew my mom wouldn't want to be, you know, I want, I don't think she wanted a bunch of people to gather around and cry about her. So, um, I did the, um, the celebration of life and, um, lots of ums here. Sorry. Just, Ugh, I'm a mess. So we, uh, I, I got a hold of my fleet manager, uh, and I told him that I need to be solo now because I just need my space. Nothing against anybody in particular. I just, um, going through a lot and I would like to just be able to properly, uh, mourn and grieve and just heal on my own. I don't really want anybody around me. So that's where I'm at. Uh, so I got here, today is Sunday, I got here last Thursday, and I did my, um, you have to do the switching from company to lease <coughs> courses, so I went through all that stuff, and I, uh, I, I looked at trucks yesterday, but they didn't have any new ones, they had new ones when I was there on, uh, Friday, but I wasn't able to look at trucks in time and there was nobody looking at trucks. So they were going to let me look, but she said, well, why don't you finish your last class on Friday and uh, I'll let you look after. And then of course, like five minutes before the class was over, someone put their name on one of the last new trucks. So I'm waiting now to see what they have on Monday. Uh, I'll stay here probably Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, as long as it takes for me to get a truck that's new, because last time I had a lot of issues with my older truck, as you guys know. Um, well, actually, I don't know if I really elaborated on that too much, but it was stupid, and I don't want to deal with that again. So, yeah. So that's where I'm at, and I will post a video when I get my truck. I'll give you guys a tour. Um, this necklace I'm wearing right here belonged to my mom, so that's cool. Um, it's very shiny. I have this light right above me, so hopefully it's it's catching the light good. And, uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else to share with you guys right now. I'm just, uh, doing the best I can right now to hold it together. Uh, I miss my mom a lot. It sucks what happened, because I found out she was sick in, um, April, and... She passed away in October, so it was quick. It was too quick for me. And um yeah, I'll be I'll be you know, now that I'll be solo, I'll have more time on my hands. I'm gonna try to catch up on my schoolwork that I fell behind on. Failed one of my classes, so now I have to petition to get that grade dropped. Uh and um yeah, don't mind the hair right now. I dyed it this like really dark purple color, but it's turning almost like a fuchsia color as it washes out, but I dyed it really dark purple for my mom's uh, memorial service because that's her favorite color. So it's like this dark royal purple. It's actually, I kind of like how it's washing out, but it's not really something I would have went for, but yeah. And um, <laughs> I don't know, I, I another weird thing is I have, um, I have like some of my mom's ashes in this little plastic thing because we buried most of them. Um, my brother had has a little plastic thing of her ashes too. And now I don't know. They're up on that shelf over there. Back there. I'm not gonna go grab them or anything. But, um, I don't know what to do with them. I keep having, like, nightmares that I spill them. Like, anxiety dreams about it. So I gotta figure out what to do with those. Um, I might get, like, an urn and put them in there and just, I don't know. I'm not really big on keeping ashes, but it just kinda happened. There's a lot going on and 
a lot of choices that had to be made under pressure, and I wasn't really ready to deal with any of that. Uh, luckily, I was able to go visit her one last time because um, I came back out here and then uh, heard that she was declining within a couple weeks, so I went back there. It's been, like, financially horrible just running back to New York every couple of weeks and staying there a week. I can't really afford that. So the good thing is now that all that's over with, I don't really have to uh, deal with running back and forth anymore, but still, you know, it's stupid that this happened, but I'll be all right. Um, <clears throat> yep, that's what's up. And I will show you guys my new truck when I get it, and, you know, hopefully I'll get back to posting. Um, just been, you know under a lot of uh, pressure and stress and the things are starting to settle down finally so I figured I'd pop in and let you guys know what the deal is um yeah so I'll talk to you guys soon